Guwahati, regarded as the gateway to the northeast, is one of India's fastest growing cities. But it houses one of Asia's largest landfill site, which is frequented by unique visitors. Amongst them is one of the most striking birds one can see. And nearly a third of their population is dependent on this landfill. The site which stretches for 94 acres neighbors a lush wetland. These are scavenger birds, eating carrion, dead carcass and even swallowing whole bones. The greater adjutant stock is one of the rarest and critically endangered bird in the world. This majority of their population dependent on garbage dumps is a striking symbol of the Anthropocene age. These birds have also been the focus of intense conservation efforts. We have been working to save greater adjutant stork uh, since last uh, 12 years. They are scavenger birds and people treat them as bad omen, disease carrying pests or messy birds. Most of the stork species, they, uh, they prefer to come to the human habitations. They love paddy fields, they, they prefer the villages uh, near the wetlands to have much uh, more calcium for their breeding season and all. The greater adjutant stork is an imposing bird that stands at 5 feet tall with an 8 foot wingspan. A sagging orange pouch dangles loosely from its neck. Being a carnivorous species, it occupies the top position in the food chains and plays a significant role in wetland ecosystem. Purnima Devi Burman has been extensively working on building community support for this bird with the women of the local community, now known as the Hargila army. So Hargila itself, the name is a combination of two words. Har plus Gila means bone swellers. We integrated the bird into tradition and cultures. The bird is a part of our rituals, our, our most respectful Assamese gamosa. The greater adjutants were widely distributed across South and Southeast Asia. But now, they are only confined to Cambodia and India. People say that it's ugly looking bird, hai, but uh, uh, I find them quite attractive. बहुत सारे जानवर को हम बोलते हैं कि देखने में बड़े बद्दे हैं लेकिन अगर वो उनकी प्रजाति में पूछा जाए तो वो उसको खूबसूरत मानते हैं तभी वो उसकी तरफ आकर्षित होते हैं अरविंद मिश्र द फाउंडर ऑफ द मंदार नेचर क्लब एन एनजीओ व्हिच प्रैक्टिसेस कम्युनिटी कंजर्वेशन फर्स्ट डिस्कवर्ड दैट द ब्रीडिंग पॉपुलेशन वाज फाउंड रिस्ट्रिक्टेड टू अ सिंगल कॉलोनी इन द फ्लड प्लेन्स ऑफ भागलपुर डिस्ट्रिक्ट Given how few the birds remain in the world, the discovery of breeding pairs in Bihar was a major find. I say, 20 years ago, I was telling people that I was ready to go 25 kilometers to paddle. I wanted to show you a greater adjutant. Assam is one of the strongholds for these species. But a new breeding population of the greater adjutant has also been discovered in Bihar, in the Ganga and Kosi floodplains. In October 2006, Arvind Mishra received information on the new species. The locals informed him about the discovery of breeding pairs. While the discovery was novel for science, the locals were always aware. Arvind Mishra soon realized that community participation was the way to ensure the survival of this bird species. <laughs> उसके कारण ये बिहार की तरफ शिफ्ट किए और चूंकि उस इलाके में पीपल कदम इन सब के पेड़ों की आबादी अच्छी है कोसी की धार वहाँ आती है गंगा भी नज़दीक है तो इस वजह से यहाँ पे उनको भोजन आवास प्रजन स्थल सब कुछ सुविधा से मिलने लगा तो ये बिहार में आकर सेट हो गए जो वो फूड लेके आया है वो वो अपने बच्चा के लिए खाना लेके आया है जंगलों के बजाय जहाँ मानवीय आबादी है उसके बीच में ज़्यादा प्रेजेंट कर रहे हैं
और ये कॉलोनी में ब्रीड करते हैं Over the past century, these birds have been in steep decline. The widespread destruction and degradation of the wetlands and the loss of its nesting trees led to a decline so severe that the greater adjutant went from being one of the most common stocks to one of the rarest. Wetlands need specific protection and require urgent attention as habitats for these birds. They support a host of biodiversity and are among the world's most productive and valuable ecosystems. They also help in combating extreme weather conditions like floods and droughts. A 2019 study by the Wetlands International South Asia reports that India has lost nearly one third of its natural wetlands to urbanization, agricultural expansion, and pollution over the last four decades. Not many realize the critical role these stalks play in local ecosystems. They are our cleaner birds, like pulsars, so they clean our environment. So they are very important in the ecosystem, in the food chain. देखे गांव वालों में एक ये है कि उनको कितना भी वैज्ञानिक महत्व समझा लो उनके लिए बहुत मायने नहीं रखता जब तक उनको सीधा फायदा नहीं दिखता फिर मैंने उनको बताया कि ये सांप चूहे खाकर आपकी जान को और आपकी फसल को दोनों की सुरक्षा करते हैं इनकी बीट से आपकी जमीन फर्टाइल हो रही है हमारे धर्म में भगवान विष्णु का वाहन इसे माना जाता है तो इससे भी उनके अंदर एक आस्था जगह की एक धार्मिक भय पैदा हुआ In the last 14 years, the numbers of these stocks increased from 78 to 600 in Bhagalpur. Due to this success story in Bihar, the IUCN status has now updated its numbers to approximately 1,200 to 1,500 individuals in the world. I want to give all of the people of Sarasre here, who are local community, who are local community, who are local community, who are local community, who are local community. पहले आना जाना इसका शुरू हो जाता है दशहरा से पहले तो दोनों पर्व आप ही क्या मनाता है दशहरा तीन पर्व दशहरा दिवाली होली छठ बना हाँ छठ भी मना लेता है तो इसके लिए हमने वहाँ दो ग्रुप खड़े किए युवाओं का जो गरुड़ सेवियर दल है हमारा और जो अनुभवी व्यक्ति हैं वो गरुड़ गार्जियन जैसे ही रात बारह बजे भी कोई पक्षी गिरता है या उसके बाद उसमें कोई खतरा आता है Conservation projects involving community development, education and outreach, interlinking stocks with local traditions and cultures have been success stories in the conservation of these species. देखिए पक्षी हमारे संस्कृति परंपरा से जुड़े हैं। हम नहीं रहेंगे तो पक्षी जीवित रह सकते हैं। लेकिन पक्षी अगर जीवित नहीं रहेंगे तो हमारा जिंदा रहना मुश्किल है प्रकृति का जो महत्व है ये हम बच्चों तक भी ये संदेश पहुंचाना चाहते हैं और इसको इसको तो अनिवार्य पाठ्यक्रम में शामिल कर देना चाहिए The relentless desire and commitment from Purnima Devi Burman and Arvind Mishra to save these large birds has been the difference between their conservation and extinction and how engaging local communities can make the difference. It is also important to consider the long-term generational impacts of consuming toxic waste on scavenger species like the greater adjutant. The fact that this critically endangered bird's largest population survives in garbage dumps leaves us with several insights and questions about how wildlife adapts and how it is affected by our altered world. <laughs>